Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving Cambridge IGCAC Biology Paper 2 Multiple Choice Extended February March 2020 Paper 2 2. Guys, this is the second part of this particular question paper. In this particular video, we'll be solving from question number 21 to question number 40. Guys, the part one video will be put into a uh, playlist. Part one and part two, both of the videos. And you will get all of the 061022 videos in a playlist. So uh, definitely check the playlist out. The antibodies that give immunity to a disease can be acquired in the following different ways. Feeding on breast milk. All right. So this is a passive form of immunity. Infectious by disease. This is an active form of immunity. Vaccination, this is also active. However, this is artificial. This is natural. And passive, natural, which gives active immunity. All right. So active immunity is provided by two and three, guys. It's pretty clear. So C will be the correct answer. Question number 22. During physical activity, what stimulates the brain to increase the breathing rate? So guys, during physical activity, an increase in breathing rate will be stimulated by an increase in carbon dioxide concentration. So increased. First of all, this it says decreased oxygen concentration in the blood. Decreased oxygen concentration in the blood. No, guys, it is most likely going to be you know, most of the time is going to be happening due to increased carbon dioxide concentration in the blood. So C will be the correct answer. Question number 23. The table shows some of the changes that occur during breathing. Diaphragm. All right. So uh, from contracted to relaxed. All right. Okay. So we can see diaphragm, intercostal muscles, External intercostal muscles and internal. Which changes occur to cause inspiration? Inspiration basically means breathing in. So in order to breathe, you know, in order to breathe in, the diaphragm must contract. All right. So it must go to X. External intercostal muscles must contract. So X and Y must be contracting. An internal intercostal muscle must be relaxing. All right. So X, Y, and R will be the answer. So question number 23, C will be the answer, guys. How many molecules of ethanol are released from the anaerobic respiration of one molecule of glucose? Now, anaerobic respiration of one molecule of glucose will produce two molecules of ethanol so here is the formula guys c6 h12 o6 it will produce 2 c2 h5 oh and 2 co2 so two molecules of ethanol 24 b is the correct answer question 25 the diagram shows a kidney and its blood vessels we can see the artery vein ureter Guys, anything related to kidney are renal. So it will be renal artery and renal vein. In a healthy person, which structures transport glucose? Definitely glucose will be transported by both renal artery and vein. Ureter will not transport any glucose because it is a healthy person. So both the artery and the vein C will be the correct answer, guys. Question number 26. The diagram shows a synapse. Where are vesicles containing neurotransmitter molecules are found? The vesicle containing neurotransmitter always found in the presynaptic membrane. And the receptors are found in the postsynaptic membrane. So the direction of impulse is from this direction. That's how we know this one is the pre-SM or presynaptic membrane. So definitely, guys, our answer will be B.
Question 27. Which row shows the state of a ciliary muscle and suspensory ligament when the eye is focusing on a near object? When we want to observe near object, remember our lens must be fat. In order for this particular lens to be fat, we have suspensory ligament and followed by that, we have ciliary muscle which is connected with the suspensory ligament. Guys, ciliary muscles are muscles. Let me label it. This is our ciliary and this is ligament. Okay, and this is the lens, guys. All right. Now, guys, for this lens to be fat, the ligament must slack. So the ciliary muscle must contract. Okay, so question number 27, guys, A will be the correct answer. So when the ciliary muscle is contracted, the ligament will be slackened and that will cause the lens to become really fat, which will allow us to see near objects. Question 28, the diagram shows a shoot growing towards light. So guys, this is an example of phototropism because we have a unidirectional light so the plant is, you know, bending towards that unidirectional light so that it can do maximum amount of photosynthesis. Which statement about the role of auxin in phototropism is correct? Auxin will move to the dark side. All right. So the guys, that is correct. Auxin does move to the dark side of the shoot and causes cells to elongate. So question number 28, guys, A is the correct answer. Let's see why the other points are wrong. Oxin will move to the dark side of the shoot and prevent cell from elongating. Okay, guys, you can already understand. Oxin allows cells to elongate. It says prevent. Oxin will move to the light side of the shoot. Oxin will move to the light side of the shoot. Guys, oxin will get broken down in the light side of the shoot. So that is not correct. 28A. 29. Bacteria such as MRSA are resistant to several different antibiotics some actions for the reducing development for reducing the development of antibiotic resistance are listed use only use antibiotics when necessary you only use antibiotics on resistant bacteria and now that is unnecessary do not use antibiotics to treat viral infection yes this is necessary we must not use antibiotics to treat viral infection. Now, guys, if you are wondering, why would a doctor prescribe you antibiotics when you have a viral infection? Like, for example, you have dengue or other things. Usually, when our body gets into a viral infection, then bacteria, which wouldn't otherwise be able to infect us, probably that was living in our gut, that was living in our urinary tract, or we picked up, you know, in the hospital. Those that wouldn't be able to attack us if we were healthy, they get the chance to attack us once we are under the viral infection. So it is the secondary, you know, bacterial attack, which is really harmful to us. So because the doctors want to prevent it or, you know, the doctor wanted to prevent it in earlier days, which is why the doctor would prescribe you antibiotics, even if you had viral infections, but it is not a good practice now, which of the suggested actions are correct. So guys, one and three is correct. So 29C is the answer, guys. Question number 30. The diagram shows a sperm cell. Which part contains mitochondria to release energy for movement? So guys, we know that the mitochondria is contained within this particular region. All right. So B will be the correct answer. Question number 31. What is correct statement about lymphocytes? Guys, first statement says lymphocytes engulf pathogen. This is wrong. Phagocytes engulf pathogen. All right. Lymphocytes number can be reduced when a person is infected with HIV. This is a correct statement. All right. When infected with HIV, lymphocytes are affected by the HIV virus. So their number can decrease significantly. Lymphocyte produces antigens. Yes, lymphocyte, all right, can produce antibodies. However, does not produce antigens. The word antigen means foreign protein. 
So yeah, it can be very confusing for students sometimes when they read antigen, they just, you know, in their mind, they just think that it is antibodies. All right. So lymphocytes transport oxygen to other parts of the body. Oh, well, that is not its function. So B will be the correct answer, guys. Question number 32. Which statement describes how a protein is made? mRNA passes through a ribosome. mRNA molecules carry a copy of the gene to the cytoplasm. The gene coding for the protein is copied in the nucleus. Ribosome assemble amino acids into proteins. Guys, in order for the ribosome to assemble amino acids, it requires the mRNA. In order for the mRNA, it needs to be produced in the nucleus first. So the first option will be three. Number one will be the gene coding for the protein is copied in the nucleus. After that, the mRNA molecule uh, will then come to the cytoplasm. So that's going to be the second one. Okay. After that, the mRNA will pass through the ribosome. Then the ribosome will get the chance of assembling the amino acid. So it will be 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, and 4. So guys, D will be the correct answer. Question number 33. Which row shows the features of stem cell? Type of cell. All right. A stem cell is a unspecialized cell, guys. And the type of division a stem cell likes to do is mitosis. Guys, sorry for me telling, my, you know, likes to do. The only type of cell division that these cells are going to do is mitosis. Meiosis is a reduction division. It is only involved in the sex cell production. So obviously, stem cells will not do meiosis. So question number 33, D. 34, which statement is correct description of the role of meiosis to create genetically identical daughter cell? Now, guys, meiosis is reduction division. And the purpose of meiosis is to produce gametes. So, guys, if, if gametes needs to be produced, they need to be haploid. Please keep this particular term in your mind when answering a question like this. They have the chromosome number in the daughter cells. Yes, that's what we are looking for. Meiosis has the chromosome number in the daughter cell. To create a diaper daughter cell, no. To maintain the chromosome number in the daughter cells. We don't maintain chromosome number in meiosis. So guys, 34B will be the correct answer. 35. The photomicrograph shows some red blood cells, sickle-shaped red blood cell. We can see a sickle-shaped. Whenever there is a sickle-shaped red blood cell, remember, that is going to be HBS. We can also see there are normal red blood cells, which can be HBA. So this particular person can be both HBS, HBS, or the person can be HBA and HBS. All right, because the person has some healthy red blood cell. Now, please, guys, you need to remember when a particular person has, you know, sickle cell anemia, it's not like all of the red blood cells are going to be sickle shaped all the time. And if that would be the case, then the person would just simply die. There would not be a test like this. All right. What are the possible genotype combinations of this person? The possible genotype is the person can either be HBS, HBS, or HBA, HBS. So 35A will be the correct answer, guys. <clears throat> Question number 36. The event listed may happen in a population. Better adapted organisms survive. Mutation results in variation. Survivors pass on their alleles to the next generation. There is a struggle for survival. Every organism has a struggle for survival. Now, if we discuss this particular in a little bit of depth, <clears throat> If we discuss this in particular in a little bit of depth, a depth, we have to understand every organism reproduces more number of offsprings than they originally are right where. So, for example, a turtle or a tortoise will lay about maybe 10 eggs or hundreds of eggs. A chicken will lay about 10 eggs. All right. However, to replace itself. It only requires one offspring and a chicken will keep on laying eggs and keep on reproducing the babies, you know, for a pretty long amount of time within its lifetime. And, you know, every year is going to do it many, many times. So just to replace one per one particular individual, that it would require only one offspring. So why so many? That's because that many is going to create the struggle for survival. So first of all, 
what's going to happen is that a mutation will result in variation within a particular population. And then we know that there is always a struggle for survival. So once there is a struggle for survival, there will be better adapted organism, those that will always be able to survive. And the survivors will then be able to pass on their allens to the next generation. So guys, two, all right, two, then four, and then three, and then one. So two, four, one, three, all right. 36B will be the correct answer, guys. Question number 37. Which row describes how energy flows through a biological system? The type of energy. Energy entering a biological system. All right. So chemical, heat, light, and light. All right. Transferred between organisms in a biological system. All right. Will always be chemical, guys. Okay. So transferred from a biological system to the environment all right is most likely to going to be heat all right so heat and heat all right now guys you know uh energy that is coming into a biological system often comes in the form of light because photosynthetic organisms photosynthesize heat is not necessary so light will be the correct answer c question number 37 c the diagram shows a food chain from grass to mouse and then to owl. Which terms describe the position of the owl in the food chain? Now, grass is the producer. Mouse is the primary consumer. And owl is the secondary consumer. All right. So in terms of consumer, the owl is secondary. But in terms of tropic level, this is first tropic level, second tropic level, and third. So the owl is in the third tropic level. So 38. B is the correct answer, guys. Question 39. Which method is used to produce lactose-free milk? All right. If we want to get lactose-free milk, we'll just have to heat the lactose in the presence of lactase. When we are going to heat the, sorry, wait, not heat. When you're going to, you know, cause the lactose milk to come in contact with lactase enzyme, the lactose will then be broken down into glucose and galactose. All right, so glucose and galactose. Filtering milk to remove lactose. Oh, well, we can, if we filter milk to remove lactose, all right, then definitely that's going to, uh, you know, you know, it's not going to produce milk anymore. Heating milk to break down lactose. Heating milk does not break down lactose. Using lactase to break down lactose. Guys, 39C is the correct answer. Question number 40. The diagram shows the positions of four farms and the concentrations of nitrate at different points in a river. Which farm is likely to have been using too much fertilizer on its land? Okay. So the farm that is going to be using a lot of fertilizer, all right, first of all, we need to understand the direction of flow is in this direction. And the testings are being done on these particular points. The farm that is going to use a lot of fertilizer is going to leach out into the water. So farm A, because at this particular location, we have the highest concentration of nitrate. So question number 40, A will be the correct answer, guys. Guys, thank you for watching this particular video. If you vi like videos like this, then you know subscribe to the channel we keep we keep on uploading all the time all right we're uploading every week and uh you know eventually we'll be uploading a lot of videos related to paper two paper four paper six whichever paper is your problem you will get a video for it all right guys thank you for watching stay with the channel and see you next time bye bye